How's it going, Four Barrel Family? Coach Zach here. Happy Monday. We hope you guys had an amazing weekend. It is performance week. That means this is the last week that you will see our skill strength movements that we've been doing. Um, and then next week during deload week, we will practice some newer skill movements. So this is the final week of our conventional deadlift, our kettlebell windmills, our banded strict pull-ups with tempo, our barbell strict press, and our front squats and hanging knee raise. We may keep some of those movements. We may just eliminate tempo, increase or decrease reps, um, but for the current programming, this will be the last week. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right to it. We are kicking this week off with four rounds of 15 deadlift, no tempo this week, and then eight of those windmill per side on our arms. For those deadlift, we want to make sure that we have that good flat back, we're hinging over, and that if we're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, that our hands are hitting about that first shoelace so that we're nice and in line. We're not reaching out in front, but we're also not reaching our hands behind our shoulders. If you have a barbell, you guys will do a different rep scheme. Look up in that email for that. Um, if you have two dumbbells or two kettlebells, also do the in-gym programming. Big thing, as we get deeper in our reps, so reps 12, 13, 14, 15, as our hamstrings start to fatigue, we're really gonna wanna lose that flat back position. What we see a lot of times is we come up to the top and then as soon as we start, I'm gonna turn a little bit, as soon as we start to go down, we don't just go down with our hips, we also see a lot of us start to go down with those shoulders and we roll those forward, all right? I'm gonna come a little closer so you guys can see that. So a lot of times as we get tired, we see our shoulders start to round out as we're going down into that next rep. Instead, keep those shoulders pulled back. Just send those hips back every single rep, all right? One thing I've been telling a lot of my classes lately, imagine having um, a tennis ball or an orange or something in between your bicep and your lat. I want you to squeeze that and I don't want you to let it fall. If at any point in your deadlift, if you think that imaginary ball would fall out of your arms, squeeze down and get tight again. From there, we're going into those windmill. Remember, we want our wrist, elbow, and shoulder all stacked up. We're gonna turn those feet to a 45 degree angle. We're gonna add a soft bend in that front leg. From here, use the back of that palm to trace down your leg. We're gonna keep that eye up on that dumbbell or kettlebell the entire time. And you'll notice once I start, I'm only bending from the hip. So as I'm going down, I'm not lunging this knee forward to help me get closer to the ground. I'm also not bending that back leg. Leg stays back right here at my hip is the only place that I'm bending for. So one more time, four rounds, 15 deadlift. These are same weight all the way across. And then eight of those dumbbell or kettlebell windmill per side. See you guys back here in a little bit for our Metcon.